The leader of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, Saudi Arabia's recent actions to slash official selling prices to Asian customers in May has triggered an oil price war with Russia. Speaking to the Financial Times publication, the Saudi energy minister says, quote, Engaging in a price war was an unwelcome departure from our end, but we had to because of a desire to capture some revenues versus sitting on our hands and doing nothing. End quote. The ongoing global pandemic has severely weakened fuel consumption. The coronavirus fuel decline has also been felt on island with the rigorous social distancing protocols. Managing Director Jamari and Sons Evaristus Jamari acknowledges the decline in landed price of fuel and says the ball is now in the government's court for the next move. On the issue of low fuel prices, well, it's true to say that the landed price of fuel has decreased and it continues to decrease. However, the savings has been taken up in higher exercises on gasoline and diesel. Um, Future prices are heading downwards, and um, it's interesting to see whether the government maintains its policy of holding on to those gains by increasing the excise tax on fuel. The Department of Finance has indicated that excise tax on gasoline and diesel has been allowed to move with changes in oil prices. The policy may lead to excise tax rates above the previously targeted $4 per gallon. However, Jamari is of the opinion that simply increasing the excise tax would be an oversimplified approach to a very dynamic issue. Excise tax revenue are based on the the rate of excise tax, which is per gallon of fuel, and the actual volume of fuel that's consumed. And um, the point I'm making is, is, let's take, for instance, the the transportation sector. The largest sector of fuel consumption is clearly the minibus sector. Minibus sector. Because of social distancing and the restricted number of passengers allowed in businesses, it is now unprofitable for many bus drivers to ply the train. With the single highest running expenditure for the transportation sector being fuel, the businessman presents the idea of generating economic gains through a shared savings approach. I think it would make more sense to share those fuel savings with the, the uh, minibus drivers and to make what was or has been unprofitable profitable or worthwhile. Um, in so doing, you will get a higher level of consumption and you will collect a higher level of revenue because this is revenue this is this year which not would not have been consumed otherwise so you need to provide some incentive to the minibus drivers to get them on the roads and there could be no better way of doing so but by allowing them to have some level of savings in the purchase of fuel fuel being the biggest single running cost An announcement on the next adjustment of retail price of fuel products in St. Lucia will be made on Monday, April 27, 2020. Meanwhile, eyes remain on the global market to assess the long-term demand for fuel and whether the coronavirus will change consumption trends on the energy battlefield. Solash Alfred, HTS News Force.